morning. Making tea, making juice. <sighs> Happy Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. Ooh, hot. Hot tea. There's Lillian. She's climbing out of bed, I think. Or climbing out of bed into her couch. When I say into her couch, she literally like into her couch. Good morning, Harry. So, wow, what a night, what a day, what a weekend. Really great weekend. Um, or just really great. Hi, Dawn. I loved last night. I loved hanging with Matt and Susan. In fact, afterwards, we WhatsApped for a while and recorded some video for my Patreon page, which is really fun. If you're new to what Patreon is, it's a patron site for artists. And artists of all kinds create their page and um, through videos and writing and music and they um, you get patrons and then you add more content to the page. So you meet people from all over the world and what they're doing and support them, which is really fun. And I have a fun page for a couple of different projects, but 1111 is my one patron idea. And so for the people that I do interview on the show, they then do a quick interview with me of questions that I don't we don't talk about on the show anyway it's fun and we just sat there and we talked until I think one well we were on till 12 30 so it's Monday meandering I, I kind of hang out here for a while and talk and tonight is meditation I do a, a song meditation at 11 11 this evening and tomorrow night is Alex Degrassi, incredible guitarist. I should I should play some Alex now. And Wednesday is my friend Kokuko, and we're going to be talking based on grounding and the shifts that, that are happening on the planet and how we. Hi, Mama Grace, and how we. Uh, oh yeah, that was really good. The Velvet Devil Merlot. Velvet Devil Merlot. But, um, so that's Wednesday with Kokuko, and then Thursday night is Corona Roki, and that's really fun. So I'm really looking forward to the week, and I'm just looking for more, anyone that wants to come on the show, come on. I'm just, I'm trying, I'm, I'm paying attention, I promise. I promise. Hi, Julie's. How's Colorado? Colorado, Colorado. Hmm. Oh, there's a free feed up class. I love my feed up, feed up class. Let's see, what, oh, that sounds like a pretty one. Angel. A Angel, Alex Degrassi for Blue Coast Records. Happy Monday morning, I know, right? Crazy. What are you drinking this morning, Julie? It's early for you. I have my tea. I have two teas and a juice. They do different things and I don't like to mix them. <laughs> I like this one. Angel. And then after this, I'm going to do a walk with my dog and some yoga and then we meet Mama Grace and then we just keep the day rolling. Something's happening today. Oh, we're making enchiladas, right, Nana? Make some good enchiladas tonight. Had a cup of coffee 
Wow, you've been up for a while. Are you... Would you like to come on camera, Julie? I'd love to see you, if you do. Oh yeah, someone just said they see the, the mermaid on my shoulder. She's right back there. I'll, I'll invite you, and, and if you say, you say no. I like this. Valentina, how are you? Your puppy looks so cute. Oh, you are loose. <laughs> hey there. I want to show you, I am, I'm down in um, the basement um, bedroom. And this is the ceiling. I don't know. Can you see the ceiling? A little pixelated, but it looks like wallpaper. Yeah. And yes, and it's it's various degrees of recession. Um, it's just it's amazing. So I'm I'm down in the basement, and the previous family that um, sorry, I have my the this light is my on. My friend it. Julie Luce. She lives in in <laughs> California, but she's visiting family in yeah. Colorado. Is that a Victorian I, home? Um, it's just a regular home. I mean, just a regular house, but they, the original owners built this room in the basement for their daughter and they even have, can you see that recessed little stained glass window? Yes, it's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, so the first time I came a couple of summers ago when they uh, first had the house, it was a little eerie being way down tucked here in the basement by myself. <laughs> but put, put mom in the basement. She'll be fine down there. There's so right, much. Right. But it's kind of cool because I've got my own uh, bathroom and shower down here. I've got my own window in case of emergency. You know, you can pop out and be there. But, um, yeah, it's, it's been a lot of fun. The kids got up real early um, this morning. And then uh, Jen went into her office. There's nobody there. She'll be the only one there today. And then the children went into their daycare. Their other grandmother is the um, cook at the daycare. So they'll go there for a couple of hours. And I think um, Ellie, the one-year-old, may have a little doctor appointment this morning. But um, we've had fun. They had a couple of friends over that they see occasionally that have a couple other small children. So the kids got to play. But that was, that was fun. And then great grandma came by and we all had our masks on and met out front in the, you know, the driveway. So, um, yeah, we're being, we're being still pretty careful, but, uh, it's, it's different. And then I hope to go for a walk too, after I talk to you. Good. But it's, um, Are you in I Denver? Did... No, I'm in Loveland. So mm -hmm. just, um, close to Fort Collins. Yes, it is. I love Fort Collins. Yeah, it's really nice. I miss going in there and winding through all the little shops. Oh, down... that's my some of my favorite clothing ever. In Fort Collins, I have two pair. I think I still have pants. I I bought pants and they're really cool stores. Really, yeah, cool. they're, they're wonderful, and it's just fun to wander in and out and and sit and watch. But I love that's my thing. You probably not this time. <laughs> well, you can go and kind of still walk around, can't you? Maybe. Yes, uh huh. There doesn't seem there doesn't seem to be any restrictions. Um, of course, you have your mask with you, and if you go in a public place, you've got your mask on. But when I go walking, I won't wear my mask, but I will have it with me just in case, you know, a situation presents itself, and then you want to be ready. Yep. So, yeah. I wear it. I but, tuck it here, usually. Mm -hmm. Yep, always go. Yeah. Months, and you're there for two weeks. Two weeks. Mm-hmm. It was supposed to be three, but Frontier Airline kept rearranging my flight. And then at one point in time, they had me leaving Fresno twice without ever returning home. <laughs> but you had, or you had purchased the ticket. Yes, in March. Yeah, so they, they rearranged three times. So I lost a week, but I'm, you know, blessed to be, at least be here for two. So that's good. You Why did you lose the week? Because when they changed my flights. They went from a Monday to a Sunday to a Thursday, and then from a Monday returning um, to a Friday returning. So it's just, you know, you're kind of a captive audience. How was the flight? It was, um, there were a lot of people on the flight, and they did not do the every other row. 
they did not have the center. Um, they didn't even do every, they didn't do center seating empty? No. So I was a window, but it was really nice because there was a, a man and his six-year-old little son who sat next to me. And the six-year-old kept his mask on the entire time, did not fuss about it, was just a really good little trooper. Of course, I'm, and then sometimes he'd look at me and I go, I'm smiling back at you. You can't oh. tell. <laughs> so, but. And did know. they give you the little hand sanitizer and a little. Not on Frontier. You had to bring, like you mentioned, you brought all of your own. They did do the temperature check before you boarded your flight and made sure that you had your face mask. But even when I was sitting in the airport, I was surprised at the number of people that did not put their face mask on until they got ready to board the airplane. But they did social distance. We, you know, we really staggered ourselves, and they didn't have the little cafe. Fresno's very small, as you know. Yeah, I've been, I've flown out of Fresno before. Yeah, yeah, and so the little upstairs cafe that's usually open by the gates up there, that was closed. And um, I think they might have just had a little concession area where you could buy a water, or a snack or something. But I had, I took, I take my empty water bottle and then I fill it up before I board the plane and have it with me in case I need it. So I was so. interested. So was there a, a water fountain beyond TSA? Yes. Uh huh. Okay, yes. So a water bottle fountain filler. Yes. They yeah, so that's what I do now whenever I fly. I always take an empty water bottle that I could just throw away. I don't have to worry if I lose it. I don't care. And then I fill it up once I get up by the gate and have it ready. The other thing they did on the plane, and they told us, is there was no um, service as far as beverage service or anything. Um, if you would let them know if you wanted to purchase a bottle of water, or a juice, that was the extent. And so the stewardesses did purchase, not walk. Purchase yeah. water and juice, $5 purchase. for a bottle of water. Exactly. You know, it's let's try to make up whatever we can. I but so the my, only, my, I'm go sorry ahead. To interrupt. My friend David Nepog, hi David, is on, and he yeah. flew from, I think, Miami to San Francisco it, like three weeks ago, and it was packed, packed, yeah. packed, packed. He's, he showed video or photos. Wow, that's really surprising, but not surprising. Right, yeah. Well, when I know when my... Go ahead. Oh, when my niece Ashley had to fly from um, Henderson out of Vegas um, when my sister passed away, and she had to fly into Tampa, she took a picture, and she was the only one basically on that flight. Wow. So it was empty. But that was, you know, the first part of March when this all all started happening. But... Yeah. Now it's so when you went through TSA, because I I read a couple of things that they're trying to get you to to check everything, like check your laptop and stuff. And I'm like, no, I don't think so. No. But and not only that, but my son Joey loves the Armenian deli. It's a family that we know and that the boys knew growing up, and uh, he had requested the uh, the grilled chicken. Uh, sandwiches with the the extra garlic sauce wrapped in the pita bread. Oh, it's fabulous! So I um I ordered five and I had a little uh, a little um, like tote insulated tote inside my not quite a carry on, and with the little <laughs> ice bricks. And so they made me you know show them that the little ice bricks were solid and frozen. And as soon as you unzip it, you can smell the because the, the chicken garlic. sandwiches delivered to me not too long before I took off. My flight was delayed, so we probably got to the house about 1.30 in the morning, which is typical. If it's a seven, you know, seven o'clock flight, I never get here on time. <laughs> but oh, well, thank you for well, sharing that. I, I don't know when I will fly. And uh -huh. I know I'm, I, I fly with mostly with Alaska and Southwest at this point. Right. Oh yeah, it well, was. Thank you, Virginia. Yeah. But, but um, I I don't know. I know it's scary, and then I think, well, what what am I gonna do? I'm not gonna drive out here by myself. So right. take a chance, and I'm not getting any younger. <laughs> no, I'm glad you I, and you're there now for another week. Yeah, so I'm excited. And yes, the show last night was awesome. Aren't they fabulous? Aren't they, they were dark. 
they're just such when I first asked Matt and I talk about once or twice a week doing some other technology stuff and and art and brainstorming and mm -hmm. I said you and Susan need to come on she she walked in one day she's like hey what are you guys working on and you know my me being a little bit of a Luddite we were laughing and and then I said, you guys need to be on the show. And they're like, what are we going to talk about? I go, talk about your life and, and your uh -huh. moments and everything that you do and just just be. And it ended up being one of the best and longest shows ever because, because it was just great. And they are fabulous people. Uh -huh. And then we got to meet their son. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> and then what about the, the little message on the mantle that, how did they ever come up with that? They've, so. they've done that large scale. That's a small scale of what. Yeah, yeah. it's amazing. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're quite, quite a couple. Mm -hmm. And I'm singing, um, they've hired me to do a Zoom party for her father for his, oh. his 80th birthday at the That's end nice. of this month. So and you we, got to their wedding? I sang at their wedding, yeah. Yeah, and that's so cool. And you know, what he said, that was what Steve and I always said. It's not that you don't still love each other. It's that you still like each other yeah. and how yeah. important that was. And I thought, oh, man, that really resonated with me. It's like, yo, yeah, well, there's a message from Steve. <laughs> and they work together. You know, they're, yes, they're together know. a lot. Yeah. Pre-quarantine, yeah. they were together. And, uh -huh. yeah, I admire them on many levels. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait to go see them in Toronto. We keep, we've been oh, there for 15 years. Yeah, we need to come over. And I've been there. I've even, uh -huh. I was in Montreal last year. And a few oh, years nice. before that was in Toronto. But they, I think they were living in, I forget, Norway or something. Uh -huh. But yeah. Well, thank you. I'm happy that you were there. So what is yeah. your day in the lovely town? Um, my day today? Um, probably Joey, um, he's, um, off work right now as so many are. And so he is, um, painting high ceilings and he's, I think going to be in the family room today. So, um, I think my job was to maybe remove some pictures from the walls and then stay out of his way. <laughs> go for a walk, mom. <laughs> yeah, go for a walk. <laughs> How many yeah. grandchildren do you have? You have two there. The, the I have two here. Yes, Matthew um, was three December 1st, and Ellie just turned a year old February 5th. So, yeah, they're pretty cute. She wasn't walking when I got to see her. I was here for Thanksgiving and Matthew's birthday, and she wasn't walking, but now she's oh. walking all over. <laughs> How fun. Yeah, well, it is fun. That's really great. Well, yeah. I hope that I, I love that you are here and check in with 1111 as often as you can and I really I try it. to as often as I can here because they're up early and then if I'm up playing then I don't get the early morning one as often as I can get the evening one or sometimes I have to go back and and watch the uh, recorded versions so that's fun but um and I know there's something else I wanted to tell you but it will probably come to me and I'll just text it to you but you. anyway I enjoy joy definitely watching and other people, I see that my stepmom's on watching now, and she's in Henderson, Nevada, so that's pretty cool. She's on now. Yeah, so it said Joe Hanner's watching, so that would be that would be our Uma. <laughs> I wonder why I don't see that. Yeah, I don't. Let's see. Yeah, it says Joe Hanner is watching with you. So yep. So that's pretty she's, cool. She's in Henderson. She's in Henderson. I have yeah. cousins in Henderson. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know what I wanted to tell you. It's so with all the gazillions of people that you know all over the planet, right? right. Think what wonderful party and get together this is going to be when we could just like have this big giant venue just from the people you know. Oh, that would I, be amazing. I, I would love, to, I, I thought that for many birthday parties, oh, I should have all the women that I know in my life, and oh, and then you know, someone dies, and someone this, and someone, uh -huh. and maybe this year on eleven eleven, we have a party. Yeah, wouldn't that be amazing? Yeah, yes. it would be fabulous. Um, so two things. So my cousin uh -huh. Julie Connell, if you the next time you're in Henderson or family that is there, she teaches. Uh -huh 
pottery at the um, downtown in like, like for the, the, they have these really great classes open to the public. Oh, neat. But, but one of the things that she did was she did a wall, a decorative wall downtown Henderson, because there's a lot of art, you know how the public art is everywhere? Right. Incredible public art community. And she did this wall that looks kind of make, like, look like rocks. Uh-huh. Has little animals in it. I'll ask her where it is and then I'll let you know. Okay. And yeah. then your other friend lived in, in Lake County in Upper Lake. Yes. Yeah, so they lived in Upper Lake. Um, she must have based up, up in the hills. She started in Nice. Um, she had a little, a little trailer when her daughter started um, ninth grade. And then um, they, she had property like many, uh, maybe 20 acres in Upper Lake. And so you pass the ranger station and the fire station and you went up, um, I think Elk Mountain Road might have been the road she lived on. And so I remember getting to go into that, um, the restaurant, that bar restaurant, you know, in the <laughs> yellow. Yes. And it was just hotel. so much fun. And then when I would hear you talk about it, it was like, oh, I've been there. I know where you are. So, but and yeah, they did. Of my life in the last 10 years have been spent at the blue, all well, the weekend at the blue wing in the Talman Hotel. Uh -huh. It's so, so nice. Yeah. Yeah. I was glad to hear that it survived. And so that many was where we were going to evacuate my parents that day when we were evacuated at my sister's uh -huh. George Road in Lakeport. Hi, uh -huh. Um we, we were thinking, where should we, because we needed to do some work at the house, get the horses, mm -hmm. get the, right. it ended up being a whole thing. And it's quite a story. But uh, I was on my way to driving my parents to Upper Lake when Bernie, the owner, called me back and said, please don't bring him here. We're evacuating. And I thought, oh, oh if, if, yeah. if up now what burns. And then I thought, okay, I'll take him to my friend Jeff Masanari in Kelseyville. So I called Lisa. I'm like, big, you know, new, new decision, taking mom and dad to Kelseyville. And as I'm driving there, they say, sorry, Jenna, we have to evacuate from Kelseyville as well. So just uh -huh. go home. They stayed in the car for a very long time while Lisa, mm -hmm. while Katie got the horses off and Lisa and I uh, packed up this huge house, the things that they needed and paperwork, right. and all kinds of stuff. And we were called the EVAC sisters or we called ourselves the EVAC sisters. Mm -hmm. and, the, and and during the whole thing, our phones kept getting that emergency signal. Bah, bah, bah. Wow. And then we finally... My dad finally just said, I didn't come out to California to burn in a fire, basically. So get your asses out here and let's leave. So we left and didn't, they didn't know for a week if their house was gone or not. They kept hearing it was there, it was not. Love you, Virginia. So yeah, that's, I'm sorry that your friend lost her home and uh, many, too many people. Oh, my friend Machiko, too. my dear mm -hmm. friend Machiko who shows up, she uh -huh. Oh, yes, I see her name often. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And we probably, so, if I saw your friend, would know her, or Paul and Machiko would for sure would know them. So, yeah. say hi. So, yeah, so they uh, relocated, though, um, this last, I think it's been about a year, um, to a little town outside of San Antonio. Mm -hmm. And um, my goddaughter, Stephanie, got to teach third grade this year there so that was kind of cool oh, that's and then neat. they yeah so she was able to get a job fairly quickly and then uh they have a little a little guy that will be i think believe two in december oh. yeah so that's it's life changed for them but different. <laughs> different that's a lot different than than lake uh, and it's absolutely it's so lake and she grew up in oakland so my so her mom was my childhood friend, and the house they lived in on Palm Avenue was built by Julia Morgan, I believe. It was one of her designs, and um, I used to go up there as a young girl, and and then uh, you know around Lake Merritt and and all over. We had we would go into San Francisco, and I think one time Jan and I rode Bart when it was newly constructed from one end to the other without getting off, just to see where it would go. <laughs> 
still I do that sometimes when I forget to get off at my stop. Then I uh -huh. go, Oh, I'll just hang out here for a minute till I right. uh, back off. It doesn't that. cost anymore to just stay on the on the train. You know, it doesn't cost you anything till you get off. It costs when you get off, which yeah. you know, I I don't understand that because, for instance, the subway in New York, it's one you can go mm -hmm. from here to here. You know, as long as you don't get out of right the terminal, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. can just keep bopping around mm -hmm. from the you know the east side to the west side, up down. It it still i think it's 250 275 uh -huh. wow yeah but bart from my place in um rockridge to the uh -huh. city rockridge to the airport is almost i think it's like 16 dollars oh my gosh i was thinking maybe eight but wow yeah that's pricey it's more like 14.75 or something i don't even know i just go like this to, to, to yeah. uh, get my my clipper card because they have a card now that you just mm -hmm. put money into and then okay. zoom through yeah that makes it nice yeah i miss the bay area i know i do too that was steve was born in san francisco he was the first baby on may 1st that year oh, wow. and the mayor had given his mother a certificate for a ice cream cone every year but then they didn't <laughs> live there long enough so he didn't get to enjoy that but uh, we would go back to Ghirardelli quite often and get ice cream <laughs> that's really cool. that's yeah. great to have that memory yeah we do we have good memory so yep sure. all the time yeah well thanks for inviting me on I'm happy that you were on the floor in the boudoir <laughs> that's really that's really cool I can see that it's just see it yes that wow. the different Incredible. yeah it's amazing so who knew? <laughs> Eventually, when they redo the whole basement, Joey says that he's going to, you know, tear all this out and do it oh. a little bit. Differently. So I said, OK, but I don't think it'll be anytime soon. <laughs> well, enjoy your day with your family. Thank you. And thanks again. I'll see you tonight. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bye. And as you say, love hard. Love hard. OK. Bye, honey. Bye. Bye. Yeah, fun. Hey, Janelle Michelle Burdell, wasn't last night fun? Wasn't that a blast? And I'm so so happy that you and Matt connected and community and connection on 11.11 with Jenna. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Yeah, really, really great stuff. And Virginia had to go to an appointment and Lynette and Bill Bartels and Kevin. Thanks, you guys. And Jeff, thank you very much, Mr. Metzger. Your donation yesterday was happily accepted. And I have, I'm going to send you um, another, we did some other music after we, um, we went off our live. So I was going to send that to you as a thank you. So expect that. I think it might be kind of a large file, but I'll figure it out. Send me your email. Or, oh, I know what I'll do. Never mind. I, I figured it out. So, yes, tonight is meditation. And I always think that it's a good idea to come dressed. Like, I have my cloud hands. Cloud hands. It's a Tai Chi group here in Michigan that a friend of mine, Jim, runs. I won't be wearing... Or maybe I'll wear cloud hands tonight. And... Just be comfortable and ready to relax, maybe get ready for bed, maybe get ready to watch a movie, whatever. So that is this evening, and I think I am going to go for a walk with my dog, Lillian Purr, as soon as she gets out of her couch. So you guys have a great day. Thank you, Janelle. Talk soon. Come to Grand Rapids. Come see your friends. Jump in the car. We can social distance, walk on the beach, and check out the sunset. And my light, my 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 light is is fading, so it's time to say good afternoon because it is afternoon, is it not? Oh, it's not afternoon yet. Close to it. See you in a little while, Mom Grace. 
I got one of those shields. <laughs> kind thoughts. Peaceful words. And beauty. Love heart.